Hello internet people, my name is Judith. I've been wanting to make videos for a long time, but I just wasn't sure of what to talk about because I really want to make videos that are different from all the stuff that I write. But today I was giving the answer to me with um, this wonderful comment I receive online. Um, I spend a lot of time online uh, debating or arguing, as they might call it, with feminists. And uh, on a post which was the um, usual let's shit on men post, um, I was given this wonderful little comment and I just thought I'd break it down for you and try to uh, entertain you as I go. So here we go. This was written uh, by a woman, I believe, um, a feminist, that's for sure. And she says, feminism just want equality of rights. So we're off to like a wonderful start. Um, you know, I think she's American, she's probably American or Canadian, and uh, you have all the same rights men do. There's actually, in Canada, there's like one right that I know men have, women don't, is the right to walk around bare-chested. Women don't have that right, free the nipple. And we go, and we go on. The only reason why we call out men is because most of us have suffered because of men's actions and it can be groping on the street, office, harassment, or rape. Yeah, all those things that happen to men too. Um, all you're saying here is you're completely unaware of what men's life are all about. They, they go through the same stuff as you do. Their lives are no better than yours. It's, it's shitty for everyone all over. And this whole thing, it, it just reeks of, the, the old text just reek of like virtue signaling. It's a whole text about uh, women are so much better than men and it's okay to shit on men because, yeah, you know, they suck. <sighs> you have to understand that if men abuse women for something as simple as rejecting them on a date, yeah, and when women get rejected by men, they make face false rape allegation. But her point is like, oh, men, when they do something to women, it's so much worse than when they, when women do something to men. Again, it's just like, it's just it's a women have it, we have it hard, and men are so, are so mean. Why men are so mean? <sighs> There will be women complaining about men when they face mistreatment in their lives. Well, yeah, but don't just put all men in the same fucking bucket. Yeah, men do bad thing, women do bad thing, but not all men do bad thing. And if somebody did something wrong to you, you blame the person. You don't blame the entire gender. Like, for fuck's sake, this is something feminism has taught me. You know, don't blame something on someone that they can help. You don't shit on somebody for their race, for their gender, or their sexual orientation. They can't change it. Blame the action of a person, not their gender. It's not hard. Apparently it is. Even on the most extreme feminist pages, not one woman will call for men to be raped or joke about them being raped. As a woman who don't believe in a uh, rape culture, <laughs> I can tell you for a fact that if you're a woman who tell other feminists rape culture is bullshit, the one thing they'll do, and, and try this, make this experiment, count the time it, it'll take until a woman will tell you, well, you should get rape, and I will teach you a lesson for not believing in rape culture. And it brings me back to the arg argument that I made j j just a few seconds ago that even if I get rape, I'll blame the man who did the thing, not the entire male species. <sighs> not one woman would troll MRA pages just to put down men, for fuck's sake. Oh, women are so much better than, than men. They would never do the horrible thing men's, men do. Oh, of course they fucking do. Like, this is so oblivious of reality, this entire comment. It's fucking mind-boggling. When something goes wrong for men, women are the first one to come out in their support. 
if there's any men watching this right now, you're probably laughing out loud because you know how fucking bullshit that is. Like, women aren't perfect little angels. They can be terrifying and devious. And in this, she refers to uh, the Tara Crew case. Uh, like Tara Crew case, uh, the MRA pages, men were busy making fun of him. Feminist pages were posting positive uh, posts in his support. Terry Crew is an American man who um, make who was harassed sexually harassed by another man. And while yes, uh, some men make fun of him for not being a real man, um, when the, the that case came out uh, recently, new development came out. Most MRA page didn't bother to talk with it about it, but most. Feminist page were not in support of it. Most of what I saw on feminist page was feminists shitting on men and men's page for not talking about it enough. It's like one thing men and men's group want people to know is men get raped and sexually harassed too. Yeah, there's some shithead who's gonna make fun of him for having been groped by another man, but most men want male victim to be recognized. So this whole, sen this whole sentence is pure bullshit. What I'm trying to say is that you delude yourself by thinking men will love you for what you do. They won't. But you are, uh, you are the wrong sex. So this is, this is an argument uh, that come up to me a lot of time because I defend men online when they take shit unfairly. And I've been told many times that the, the whole position I take against feminism is purely to, you know, get dicks. Because we know men, you know, we know that to get a man you have to develop a whole philosophy. You have to spend hours and hours defending your philosophy online, on Twitter, on Facebook. And, and maybe then if you're lucky, one man will, will want to eat out your pussy. Uh, like you can like do you really think men are that hard to get that you have to go through this whole trouble to, to to get their attention like go down to any pub ask a couple of men if they want to have sex with you and within five minutes you can bone someone it's not hard like men are a simple creature and i love them for it men have their problems too i agree well, that's the only thing that's fair about this whole comment. But their problems are because, aren't because of women. They are privilege, not women. It's the, it's the re recent argument since feminists have started to, um, to realize that men do face problems in society. They've come up with the f wonderful explanation that, yeah, it happened, but it's because of men. It's, it's other men that shit on men and all their problems because of toxic masculinity and bullshit like that and the patriarchy are bringing men down. It's, it's pure obliviousness. This entire male crisis, the crisis of mis masculinity that's going around nowadays that more and more people are being aware of. Anybody who, who has a bit of logic and understand what's going on know that it's feminist attitude that are causing all these problems. It, it's not men causing problems for men. Is women creating a, a feminized world, a gynocentric world that men feel very uncomfortable in? And it's not because they're wrong in any way. And it's not because their masculinity or is problematic or they're not expressing their feeling. It's because men are men and you're trying to make them into women. It's, it doesn't work like that. Most women don't even have access. <laughs> Oh, listen to that one. Most women don't even have access to platform to make their voice heard. They are the one we must speak up for. Yeah, because we all know like there's no women on Twitter or on Facebook. No, the patriarchy cut that shit down a long time ago. Women can't speak out. 
It's not look like there's an entire woman who wrote this whole fucking thing and she, she has a platform to speak out from. And I'm not even fucking mentioned in Tumblr where all these fucking feminists, these radicals, these people who are just those postmodern Marxists, they don't come from fucking Tumblr where Tumblr is, is majorly um, a, a female space. Like... And now they're fucking everywhere and they're trying to 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 say bullshit like that. Oh Bliva used to yeah are, are you like <sighs> Don't hate feminists. I don't hate feminists. I dislike them very much. I'm way too lazy to hate anyone. That's just too much energy spent on something you shouldn't even spend an ounce of energy on, you know. They are just women who have gone and seen a lot of injustice and pain at the hands of men. They want equality or of right and opportunities. We, we, we all want that. And nobody is stopping women from wanting all that. Arguing against the worst problematic aspect of feminism is not trying to take rights away from women. It's, it's any any group that's given power is going to abuse this power and that's exactly what's happening in the feminist movement right now they're just abusing the shit out of the out of the power they have and they're putting men down with it i don't know if you ever if you'll um i don't know if you will even read this properly but i hope positive approach helps um this last sentence this is all I read properly is because they were putting in question my reading ability um, in that thread because I didn't agree with the original post. I, take of I took offense in something in the post and mentioned that and they're like, you just don't get it. No, I get it. I disagree with it. That's not the same thing. So, so yeah, that's it. This, this whole text is pure um, virtue signaling. It's something that's going on in the feminist movement and it's really a mentality that's really um, prominent with feminists right now that they they will use the statistic that men are more violent than women to justify putting men down. It's okay to shit on men. Men commit more murder, commit more rape. It's what's the argument you're trying to make that men are like morally flawed on some deep level? It's and what the shitting on them helps. Like, you don't like when we shit on women, it's so wrong, but somehow shitting on men, it's it's okay? Don't do to others what you don't want them to do to you. It's, it, it boggles my mind sometimes, and that's why, that's why I like doing that. That's why I like engaging with them, because you learn so much about who they are, about where the whole movement is at right now, and that's where it's at right now. Years ago, they wouldn't even recognize, like, that men had issue. Men had no issue, only f women had issue. And then it grew to, okay, men have some issue, but it's just like a little bit of men that have issue, and it's not enough for, for us to care, you know? And now it's, yeah, yeah, men have issues, but they're like, it's, it's men's fault anyway, because they're shitty to each other, so, uh, and they should just speak about their feelings feelings more and that goes back to women understanding men only on a feminine level a man who's been told his entire life to shut the fuck up don't talk don't say anything don't cry don't have actual feelings they're not just gonna open up one day and say "Ooh, i'm so glad i can talk about my feelings now no they've been programmed a certain way and just telling them to open up and talk about your feeling it's so fucking condescending and you're missing the entire point of what's going on right now and and that's why i like to engage them i like to show them that yeah they are full of shit i don't you know say it exactly like that because if you say it exactly like that then they, they automatically reject anything you say but it's important to stand up to this sort of shit. It's really, really important. Because when I do this, 
when I engage them online on their forums, I don't do it to change feminists' mind. I, the radicals are gone. Like, the, the radicals are just gonna justify anything that they do. It's the moderate. It's the one that just are there to just sort of feel what things are like. And when they see that I can engage with feminists uh, and stay, you know, don't insult, don't, don't use fallacies, don't use ad nominems, just stay on point, make your argument, defend your argument, tell them what the, why their argument is not quite right. And on the long run, they're going to see that my position is more... Well, I hope they're going to see that my position is more valid because then what they do all the time is resort to, you know, insulting me, belittling me, demeaning what I have to say, um, making, making insult at what I say of what I say, making insult of who I am as a person, and they just put you down. And it, it, is that really the one, the, the kind of thing you want your movement to be all about? Women putting people down and then thinking they're so fucking righteous when they do that? It makes no sense. So that was my first React video. I hope you like it. Maybe there'll be more. 